Hi, this is Herco Southeast Asia. And now, we are talking about tool measurement setting. What is tool measurement setting? Tool measurement setting is to measure the distance from Z-axis home position to the tool touch-off location, reference to the spindle nose face. The tool touch-off location is whatever surface the user wants to use to reference his tool, for example, machine table surface. Tool measurement setting must be done by the trained machinist. As long as no modification to the spindle or z-axis unit, such as service or part replacement, no need to redo tool measurement setting. Now, let's see how to do the tool measurement setting. This is the spindle and work table of your Herco machining center. And this is your machine's Z reference value, which represent the distance from spindle nose and Z axis home position to the tool touch off location. For the machine to be able to calculate the absolute tool length, you need to measure this Z reference and key into your tool measurement setting parameter. You need a pre-known height gauge, for example, a 50 mm height gauge, to do the measurement. Put the 50 mm height gauge in the table surface. Move slowly the spindle down until the spindle nose touches the height gauge. Once the indicator shows zero, input the value by pressing the store position button in the Winmax control. Then, subtract the value with the height of the gauge, by key in the gauge's height, and pressing the minus button, followed by enter. By pressing the enter button in the control, you will get the Z reference value stored in the parameter automatically. In case you have a bigger Herco machine with longer Z travel and bigger axis over travel, you can use a pre known precision material stacked up with the 50 mm height gauge. With the same procedure, move the spindle carefully down until it touches the height gauge surface, indicates zero, and store the position. Subtract with gauge's height and the precision material's height, followed by enter. You can also use a master tool to do the Z reference measurement. Use the tip of the master tool to touch the height gauge and store the position. Don't forget to subtract value with the gauge's height and master tool's length, followed by enter. Once you are done with the Z reference measurement, Machine need to identify your daily device's height. For example, if you're using a 50 mm height gauge to do your tool setup routine, you need to key in 50 mm into control, and machine will automatically calculate the Z location. This value is very important for the machine to compensate your gauge's height during tool setup. So every time you do the absolute tool length procedure, what you need to do is only touch your tool to your gauge device, store position and machine will automatically calculate the absolute length of the tool for you. Thanks for watching.